What's good with you, Tube? It's your man, Cosplay Ray, and we're back for another edition of We Are Epic Cosplay. And today we are going to get started on a new build. It's going to be a series build and kind of like a tutorial. So you guys are going to be coming along with me as I work on my new cosplay, which will be Black Lightning. Um, we're going to say cosplay for or armor for season three. So I'm going to do my version of the Season 3 uh, Black Lightning costume. So it's going to be a little different. I'm going to add a little bit more armor where I feel I want to. And that's the great thing about, you know, doing your own thing with cosplay. You could, you could take something and you could add to it. You could take away from it. You know, you could do it how you want to do it. Okay, so first off, I need to make a template. So I, I think I have some templates already that I, I use on prior builds. Uh, usually I start with a helmet or the mask and then I, I go from there. But I have a, a mask that I did for the season two Black Lightning, but uh, I, I thought I could do a better one. So I tried to do, a, uh, I did another one. And so now it's all about, it's just gonna use that old one for this build. I'm just gonna repurpose it probably, you know, uh, give it a different paint job. Okay, so instead of starting with the mask, I'm going to be starting with the chest. So this is going to be good for all those people who are, are curious of how you make chest armor. So the materials that I will be using will be this EVA floor mat material, foam. Uh, there are other foams that you could use, um, like high density foam which I got this at this particular one, which is about same same thickness, about a half an inch thick. So I got that one at a uh, sewing shop. So I got that one at Joann's, I believe. So, but uh, I, I find, I don't know, I found that the contact cement that I, I like to use seems to work a little better with this. Uh, it just could be maybe I, I didn't give it the glue last time I used that foam enough time to fully dry when I put the pieces together. So for today, I'm gonna to be using the floor mat material. Now it comes with a backing on it. The advantages of the other one is it doesn't have a backing like this. It's it's same, same material, same texture on both sides. Okay, so you're gonna need some masking tape. And I'm gonna show you how to do this without a uh, to do it on yourself pretty much without having a duct tape uh, like a duct tape dummy or a mannequin or to have somebody to actually help you to do this process so this is something that you can do on your own and I'm gonna show you how you're also gonna need some form of like poster board or something like that so I'm gonna be using this particular roll uh, usually I like to use the thicker poster board. This is like a, a, a comes in a big flat sheet, but that will that'll do You'll need some kind of drawing utensil. So uh, either a sharpie marker a pen pens pretty good because it'll give you a thinner line when you're gonna cut instead of a thicker line so you'll have a, a better idea of where you need to cut opposed to a sharpie could give you a thicker line and there's a little bit of wiggle room and most definitely you will need yourself a Sharpie, no, excuse me, not a Sharpie, but uh, an X-Acto knife. And in, in fact, I need to, sh I should have changed this out before I did the video, started the video, but um, I like the X-Acto knives that come with a gold trim on the blade. I find that they cut sharper and they have like a Z on the package. They're like an X-Acto Z or something like that to that effect and um, I, I prefer those so I recommend those because they're they they're a sharper blade for whatever reason and if anybody has known to cut foam with a blade even though it's sharp you, the blade will go dull like relatively after a couple of cuts so it's also good to get yourself something similar to this which is like a blade sharpener okay and that way you can sharpen your blade in between your cuts. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna put that over here. And like I said, these are gonna be broken down probably into 15 minute sections. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get as much done on this in this 15 minutes as possible. Okay, so the fun part is you want to, this could work for men and women, all right? So what you wanna do is you want to put a piece of tape pretty much down the center here. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a template for half the chest and that template can be flipped over to be used on for the left or the right side. Okay, and then it's pretty much, you're just gonna, I'm using, gonna have to use the camera for this. But what you wanna do is you wanna cover half your chest with tape all the way down to the bottom, okay? So I, only, I might only get through the template making process and then, then probably in the next video, we'll tackle the cutting out of the material on the foam. So right now, it's, let's just try to get, and you wanna get, make sure you get it as far over as here. But remember, uh, when you make the armor, you wanna be able to have enough room for your shoulder to move. So you don't wanna have it too close to the edge, but we're gonna try to get it as close as we can can. Now this is kinda of awkward me doing this with just the camera, but it can work. Okay. Maybe one more piece. Okay, so, now, I think it was kind of good that I did the left side because I'm right-handed. So what you're gonna do is you want to make a line down the center. And then you're pretty much just going to kind of draw out your shape. And I'm gonna kind of use my tank top. That's the reason why I'm using the, wearing a tank top. I'm gonna kinda of use where I think the tank top will go. So I can see the line of the tank top. So that's kinda of what I'm gonna to use to follow my guideline. Okay, so I think I want one more piece of tape because I wanna make sure I get the underside of this peck. Okay, and so so as you see, I am just trying to get the underside of that shape here. And if I felt like I needed to, I could probably put a little bit more tape, but I feel like that tape, that tape's in a pretty good spot. And I'm just kind of just tracing out the shape of how I think my chest goes. And you can see pretty much like this. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably bring this up a little bit more and bring it in like that. Still kind of following the tank top. Like I said, ladies, you could do this too. Okay, so now the important thing now is to remove the tape. So if, so just try to be careful with this now, some people would, would do this with maybe putting cellophane, wrapping cellophane around you. But if you don't have cellophane and you don't have somebody to help you out with that process, you could do it pretty much like this. So my main thing is 
basically right now I just want to make sure those pieces of the tape will stay together so just be careful when you remove this just to make sure that those the tape will stay together okay so I was able to get it off in one piece so that's kind of basically how this template is going to go and I'm gonna I can take this off now I don't need this so I'm just gonna put a cent C right here and a line so I know this is my gonna be my center point And once you get it off of you, you could kind of figure out where, you know, you could redraw those lines a little better. Okay, so. I'm gonna put that tape over there off to the side. And we're gonna take our poster board. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to take this piece and flatten it out. I'm going to manipulate this a little bit so I make sure that this piece line is connected on there. Now you might find that it wants to kind of, let me put it this way, you might find that it wants to kind of curl up a little bit but you could you could flatten this out. If you start in the middle and kind of work your way out to the ends, you could flatten this out. Okay, so now I have pretty much an idea of how this is going to work. I have my center line here. And like I said, if you want to, you could go over again and define those lines to where you think exactly they need to be. And remember, I was using I was using uh, the camera for that particular thing. Okay, so now I have my lines the way I need them to be. So Last step is just to take your X-Acto knife and cut out that shape. Which is a real, should be a real easy step after this. And so this is pretty much the shape that you'll end up with. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut this portion out as well. So this will be a separate, separate piece. So I will be cutting these in two separate pieces and that will be your template. Okay guys, so being that I'm still, you know, everything's still new to this channel, I'm gonna Break, like I said, I'll break this down into 15 minute intervals. So that's pretty much how it's gonna go. And this will be the under part. So we'll go under here. All right, so I hope you got something out of this video. And this is the first step on the next video uh, section. We will be going over cutting out the material on your phone. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like the stuff that I'm putting out, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm putting out the other videos that will go with this one, okay? And so like I end all my videos, remember, hashtag, I cosplay my way. And you can too. And you should too. Peace.